Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's Friday the 24th of June and I'm heading home. Um, it's been a uh, it's been a troubling week this week to be honest. Um, not been very happy about it. Lots of problems. I don't like problems. Uh, and more importantly no explanations for the problems. I don't like that either because I like to know why something's gone wrong so I can make sure it doesn't happen again and if you don't know why something's gone wrong then you can't do. Um, I'm slightly happier now than I have been because I think I've worked out myself what the problem was um, without the help of the people who should know what the problem was and I think they were perhaps covering it up which I'm not happy about either. So generally I've not been very happy about stuff but they are uh, on a more happy note, um, apparently we're really leaving the EU. Um, <laughs> not sure many people are happy about it. Uh, I was watching Bemused through Twitter about everyone bemoaning it completely. Um, you know, I'm not very political, so I don't want to get into politics one way or the other. Uh, or about um, what my sort of personal views on it are, other than, you know, Everyone's got the democratic rights, uh, they had a vote, you know, people voted and the more people voted to leave, so that's what's happening, you know. You can't do anything about it now, so stop moaning about it. You know, might not be happy about it, but, you know, that's it, you've just got to get on and live with it. So, um, I don't want to dwell too much on it, because like I say, I'm not a hugely political person anyway, but, you know, like it or not, that's what's going to happen, so more people wanted to leave so I don't think you know I don't think on the whole it's gonna make that much difference you know everyone sort of made it out to be a lot worse than it I think it really is uh, you know, it's not the end of the world that we're leaving uh, it may benefit us you know I mean I, I don't really know either way to be honest but it might benefit us so they are so um, that's been going on um, obviously that's taken up quite a lot of time. Um, iOS 10 beta has been a complete and utter dog for me <laughs> this week. I don't know. Obviously I jinxed myself last week by saying, oh, it's been really stable. And it just, it went completely to bits. It was locking up on emails, locking up on the lock screen. And I mean locking up to the point of, you know, having to press home and power down and rebooting the whole phone because it just sat locked on the home screen. Um, battery life's been up and down like a yo-yo. Um, I ended up getting rid of the swipe keyboard because that seemed to be causing me lots of issues. I couldn't reply to texts and <laughs> emails and things because every time I tried to go with it, the keyboard wasn't coming up at all. And again, then it would just lock up. So I got rid of the swipe keyboard. Uh, and it does seem to have solved that issue at least, so I don't know if Swipe needs updating or what. But, um, obviously that'll take a while, but it's been beta. So, all these are my fault. I shouldn't have installed a beta in the first place. Uh, I noticed with interest that the Apple Watcher um, actually braved installing the Watch OS 3, which, uh, as I said last week, I'm not going to install because I want to be able to use my watch. Uh, but apparently it's not too bad not too bad um, and now Mickey Mouse talks to you <laughs> yay so totally worth updating then <laughs> I might even try it myself so <laughs> Mickey Mouse can talk to me <laughs> or I might think I've just lost the plot completely um, so more exciting news is uh, this week we have had the Bespin Cloud City update released for um, Star Wars Battlefront, yay! Something new to play on. It's a goddamn hard map to play. <laughs> it really is. Um, because of course the thing is, you, you get used to maps, where you're going to and where everywhere it is. So starting again from scratch on a whole new map is just like, where's everything? Where am I going to? What am I doing? No idea. Um, Add to that confusion, of course, there's some new play styles. There's an entirely new game style. And they've also changed up quite a lot of the interface and different bits. So that completely flummoxed me as well. So 
it was generally a bit of confusion for me uh, that this whole new update uh, but I had to go with it um, not try playing as the new hero um, which is of course uh, Lando Christian or the, um, the new baddie Dengar the bounty hunter um, he does look good actually he looks like um, a bit of a beast of a player so not had a chance to play as them uh, in fact I've actually avoided them I tend to avoid being heroes to be perfectly honest I suck at being the hero completely I don't know what it I just can't work it out whenever I'm the hero people are the hero in matches and they last for the whole match as that hero they never die I'm the hero I just die almost straight away I don't know why um, I think it's my gung-ho charge head down at everyone <laughs> Attitude, which is probably not the best way to do things, instead of being sort of stealthy and taking pot shots at people left, right, or whatever else. Um, I tend to just charge straight into the action, into the middle of loads of players, and get shot repeatedly and then die, and that's just it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, tried to avoid it generally. Oh, it's a cyclist. Cool. Missions. So uh, yeah, I have pretty much single-handedly uh, avoided being a hero so far. I don't try and avoid it anyway, but I, I do fancy having a go with those. But I, I just wanted to get some matches under my belt and figure out what the chuck was going on. Uh, I'm trying to get on with some hut contracts as well, um, where you, you can get extra guns and things by completing certain missions. I'm kind of like on the real, real hard ones now. Oh, this must be tight fit. This, uh... Because I'm on the ones now where you're going to use sniper rifles, and particularly if I get a sniper rifle streak, which is just like... No, three sniper rifle streaks. So I'm going to get, like, three lots of kill streaks with a sniper rifle. And I just don't don't get on that well with sniper rifles to be perfectly honest and the sort of concept of me getting three streaks with them is going to be really hard because the thing about sniping it is there's nowhere that you can particularly no I can't find that many places on maps that I can snipe from and not get killed at some point because normally someone works out where you're shooting from and immediately kills you on the river so getting a streak pretty damn hard for that sort of thing because you are going to die eventually um so i'm working through that i have achieved a lot of uh, the sort of different mission well missions you, you have to get a certain amount of kills with a certain number of guns uh, and it's been quite fun doing that actually because it's made me use different weapons um instead of just using my favored ones all the time um and i've actually found some of them are pretty good once i I try and aim properly instead of just being wildly shooting all over the place like a madman. <laughs> so, um, had general fun with that as well. So, all good with that. Um, be interesting. I'll perhaps I've only had uh, a little play on Wednesday night really with um, the new update because I've not really had that much time. But um, it'll be interesting to see what we're going to be like in uh, over this weekend. I should get a little bit more time to do that. Um, so we'll be having a look at that. Also, I've uh, installed Mac OS Sierra on the MacBook Pro finally. I thought I'd give that a blast as well. It seemed to be all pretty stable and pretty much everything's working fine except the one minor niggle that I can't for the life of me fathom out why. But, um, Wednesday morning, went to plug in my um, admittedly quite old now um, Apple Cinema display uh, via Thunderbolt. Uh, and sure enough, although the uh, MacBook Pro detected it, the display itself didn't come on or waken up or anything, which I thought was most odd. Um, so after much puzzling and rebooting and plugging in again and whatever else, and an SMC reset, uh, eventually got it going again, because um, I tried plugging it into the air just to make sure it hadn't just completely decided to die, because it's, it's fairly old, but I couldn't see why it died, uh, and it worked with the air, so I thought, well, it's just not 
going to be something to do with the the beta. Don't install beaters. <laughs> Never do it. So, uh, yeah. And then got it going, so I thought, fine. Yesterday, it again, plugged it in, didn't come up. So I had to mess about again doing it. Uh, and again this morning, but I seem to have worked out that what I need to do is um, shut down completely the MacBook, plug in my display, and then boot up the MacBook, and then it works fine once the MacBook's booted up. So, um, other than that though, not a chance of getting it going. So, it's a bit of a nuisance really, because one of the conveniences of the MacBook is you know, just close the lid, leave it sleeping, open it again, and it's all ready to rock. And now I've got to manually turn the thing off and start it up again with a display on. So, hopefully there will be a new update quite soon. Um, it's back to, probably they're going to go on like a two-week cycle. It'll be next Tuesday, won't it? Uh, and that might actually resolve that particular problem. Uh, so, anything else been happening that I can talk about? Not a great deal, really, to be honest, like I say. Um, not been that great at work, like I say, I had a few problems, but I think I have broken the back of that, so I'm quite, quite pleased in a way now that I finally resolved it. I'm not happy about actually what I'm going to have to do to ultimately resolve the things. It's going to involve a lot of work. Um, and more importantly, it's a lot of work that I won't get paid for, which is an even worse type, but it will eventually mean that I will end up with a very happy customer. So making the customers happy, especially when they're not very happy at the moment, is a priority for me. So um, I will have solved that. And you know, it's been a bit of a weird week as far as the weather, hasn't it? Rain, then sun, then rain, then sun, then sun, sun, then sun, rain. It's just, can't make its mind up, really can't, up and down temperature wise as well. So, don't really know what's going on there. Oh, I think I have managed to watch some some YouTube videos as well this week, so I'm not done bad on catching up on most of those. Uh, try my best, but you know, you just can't do everything at once, you can't. Right, well, that's me done. I'm sorry it was not been a particularly interesting vlog this week, but um, not a lot of interest happened, you know. Can't help that. So have a good weekend and week next week, and I'll catch you in next week's hopefully more interesting coffee vlog.